Yeah, obviously, uh, you know, Coach Anderson does a great job there. Won the league outright, won the tournament. Um, to do that, you gotta, you know, you gotta have a really good group. And I've, I've watched them, you know, a fair amount through the season, just because of obviously my relationship with with the coach, uh, with Coach Anderson and their, and their coaching staff and my time there. So, really good team, a uh, group that you know they've got veteran guards who can who can really score the ball. They're an older group, um, which I think is you know this time of the year is is something that usually comes in handy. So. Um, yeah, really good team. Would you have rather played somebody else? I mean, other than other than them, because of the, the relationship with you and Nando and the whole program. Yeah, you know, I mean, you you know, when there's people on the other side you care about, you you know, you want to make sure that uh, you know the, those relationships and things those matter a lot. At the same time, we you know you get this time of the year. There's only so many options, or things are going to go a certain way. So you just. Take it as it comes, like we do everything, and just get ready for what's next and prepare to be at our best to go win the game. What was your guys' day like today, getting back, and what did you have the guys do, and what comes next for you guys? Yeah, today was more just, you know, we call active recovery, get them stretching out, uh, just making sure they're treating any injuries, bumps, bruises, all those type of things. Um, a couple of guys have massages, things along those lines, just to get their bodies, bodies back. Um, you know, tomorrow will be more of the type of day where, you know, we watch some film, do some skill development, uh, some yoga. And again, I think, you know, being mindful of their bodies is really important this time of the year. So we'll definitely uh, work to do that. What does it mean to potentially have two games in Omaha so close, given what you saw from the fan base in Kansas City, particularly last night? Yeah, no, the fan base was off the charts. I mean, last night was was amazing. I mean, the support that we had, the energy and enthusiasm we had was, was tremendous. And, um, you know, again, it's very humbling and hopeful that we'll have a big crowd again, um, you know, come come Thursday and we're in Omaha. What did you see mindset-wise from the guys, you know, in terms of really enjoying that moment on the floor last night, loading up on the bus, getting back here and just completely, like, new slate? Yeah. No, I, you know, we work hard to build the mindset of just staying in the moment, focus on what's coming next. So confident in our guys' ability to do that. Um, you know, obviously there's a lot going on. You win a championship, and you know, and, and you're, now you're on a bus ride home, and now you're quickly, you know, on to the next thing. So um, I'm sure that our guys are excited, you know, for what's coming. I think there's also the part right now, just getting a little rest is a good thing too. Can you explain how you go about getting the focus to shift from winning the Big 12 championship to now, hey, we have a new season in the NCAA tournament? Yeah, I mean, we we feel like through the course of the year, how we do everything puts us in position to do that. So um, it, it's nothing more than saying, hey, this is what we will improve on today, where we'll make strides and, and have progress and, and then do the job that needs to be done. So. Um, you know, our guys know what's at stake. They know uh, how you get to this time of the year and you're fortunate enough to be playing meaningful basketball, uh, how lucky we all are, and, and we're going to make the most of the opportunity. Obviously, the, the way last season ended prematurely in that first round game against Pittsburgh, how, how much more excited are you to go in this year knowing you've got the guards that you do and it seems like a, a more balanced team overall? Yeah, I mean, certainly, you know, you look at our team this year, and, and especially the way we've been playing lately, uh, it's been a group that, you know, has, has been very balanced across the board. It means uh, a strength of our team is that a lot of guys can step up on a given night, and our guys take tremendous pride in making the right play, whatever the right play is. So uh, it's really important that we just keep our focus on what this group can be and, and what their strengths are and how they play for one another. And, I feel like these last three days we've done a great job of doing that and just need to stay in that same headspace. And health-wise with Demarion, he, the, with the ankle, he's going to be okay. And then how's Hassan feeling? Yeah, everything that we've learned up to this point is, you know, again, just like the others, those guys are going to need a little bit of a rest and time to heal. But uh, we don't feel like it's going to be a, a challenge or uh, prevent them from, from being available on Thursday. What benefit is playing in the Big 12 the toughest conference in America. Going forward, can you guys use um, playing teams that you haven't faced or more importantly that haven't faced you? Well, I, I think when you play the level of competition that we do night in and night out, you really 
don't feel like you get surprised a whole lot. You play in really tough environments against great teams, and so it, it challenges things that you do. It makes you think about where are your weaknesses, where can you be better, where are you vulnerable, and, and how do you improve on those. And I think that's the value of playing in such a good conference because the things that aren't as sound, you're going to get exposed. And, and I think that's where we really benefited as we've improved through the course of the season. It's been far more about just continuing to understand our group, who we have, how can we be our best together. And I think playing in the best league in the country helps you do that. You mentioned Eric, but there's a lot of people on that staff that I think you hired and certainly that you know well. What's the dynamic there? And I would imagine there's no players left over from your time there five years later. Yeah, there's only, uh, you know, Matt Mims was one that we recruited when I was there, you know, from Cedar Rapids. He's the only one. Um, but yeah, I mean, Brian Peterson obviously played here for us, and I was involved, you know, recruiting him. Uh, Tyler Glick worked here for us. Um, <coughs> You know, and, and you know, brought him to South Dakota State, hired him there. Rob Klinkfuss was on our staff there, was on their staff, and, and across the board from the trainer to the strength coach. Um, so I know all those guys, right? And worked with them. So, um, you know, they're friends and, and we'll continue to be friends. And I'm sure on Thursday we'll both aim to do the best we can to come out with a win. Their, their style, it sounds like you've watched them a lot. I mean, have they incorporated anything, the head coach there, like what you did when you were there? Or I mean, how do they play compared to you guys right now? Yeah, no, he's done a great job establishing his own identity and, and his style of play, basketball. Um, they're very good door to play for sure. A uh, group that, um, you know, certainly Mayo, their leading scorer is a guy that, you know, conference player of the year and um, scores the ball at a really, really high rate. And then they've got other experienced veteran guards with Mims, who we mentioned, and Easley. And, um, you know, on the front line, William Kyle, you know, their, their power forward is, is, as a sophomore, has really done some great things in the league. And, and then they bring weapons and guys off the bench as well. So just a really uh, well put together team that I think, you know, makes each other better. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be back with Kurt and TK. Appreciate it, TJ. Thank you. Thank you.